In this video, we're taking a look at the RIVE2 interface so you can effectively navigate the editor. The editor has two distinct modes, Design and Animate. As you switch between each mode, the interface changes to show you the appropriate tools and options available. Design mode is the default state of your artboard without any animation active, layered, or mixed on top of it. Rive allows you to attach multiple animations to a single artboard, so design mode serves as your source of truth before any animation has been applied. As you switch to animate mode, the UI will update to give you all of the options and tools you need to create animations. The editor is split into a few top-level panels. At the top, there's the toolbar. The middle area is the stage. On the left, the hierarchy. On the right, the inspector. And when in animate mode, the timeline appears. The toolbar houses all the tools you need to create, manipulate, and export your graphics. These tools are split between the Transform Tools menu and the Create Tools menu. In addition to those tools, the toolbar also contains various file options and ways to customize the look of the stage. These are available in the Editor menu and the View Options menu. Finally, on the right side of the toolbar, you'll find the Mode toggle which as the name implies switches the editor between design and animate modes. This can also be accomplished by using the tab key. The stage is an infinite canvas where you can place artboards containing all of your graphics. We'll cover all the various techniques for navigating, selecting, and manipulating objects on the stage in the next video. The hierarchy is a tree view which shows both the parent-child relationships between objects on the stage, as well as the order in which they are rendered. Each row in the hierarchy represents an object on the stage. You can change the relationships of objects by dragging and dropping them onto or out of objects in the hierarchy. We'll look at parent-child relationships in depth in another video. For now, let's talk about draw order. Objects in the hierarchy are listed in the order that they are displayed on the stage. Objects at the top of the list are rendered in front, while the objects at the bottom of the list are rendered at the back. You can change the order by dragging and dropping the objects to reflect the order in which you want them to be rendered. Drag groups to quickly change the order of multiple objects. The inspector is located to the right of the stage. It displays all of the editable properties for an object. The inspector changes dynamically based on what type of object is selected. For example, a group might only have transform properties like position, scale, and rotation. Shapes also have transform options, but they have additional styling properties like fills and strokes. In animate mode, the Rive interface displays a timeline with playback controls and options for the current animation. A list of all animations is displayed to the left of the timeline. Keep in mind that these are animations for the currently active artboard. There are three different types of animations. One shot, the animation plays once and stops. Loop, the animation cycles endlessly, and Ping Pong, the animation plays forward and then backwards endlessly. The scroll bar at the top of the timeline lets you change the zoom level and position of the timeline. After you've set some keys for your animation, select a key, then use the interpolation panel to the right of the timeline to control its easing. Linear easing gives you a constant rate of change between the two keys. Cubic, by default, gives you a simple ease in, ease out, but it can be customized to fit your needs. Hold will show no change until the next key. We're done walking through the editor UI. Next up, we'll be talking about how to select objects and navigate the hierarchy and stage. It might sound simple, but there are a few special techniques that will make you a much faster and more efficient animator. We'll see you in the next video.